within Moss 360, you're going to have a few things that you need to do yearly. They're going to be to renew some of your tokens and some of your push certifications. I'm going to show you the ones that you need to do in regards to Apple. You're going to see a notice pop up here on your screen whenever these need to be done or when it's nearing that date. So from the home screen, you're going to go to setup and services. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to do your Apple push certification. On this screen, you're going to go to mobile device management. And you're going to see your little Apple is checkmarked. You're going to do the little drop down next to the APN certification certificates. You can see this one doesn't expi in, expire until next year. Make sure you see what Apple ID that you're using and go ahead and copy and paste that on the screen. Make sure you do not create a new one. You're going to see a new bu a button down here that says renew. Go ahead and click the renew button and on the next screen you can see that it says that you're going to put in the company Apple ID that you used on the pre previous screen. So we're going to paste that in we're going to generate a certificate. This is going to give us a file that we need to download. Once we download that file to our device, you also see a little blue button that pops up that says go to Apple Push Certificate Portal. This is going to open a different website for Apple. From here, you're going to see exactly which one it is that you need to renew and see what the name of it is and you're going to hit renew and then you're going to download that certificate. Once that certificate is downloaded, you're going to go back to your Moss 360 screen. You're going to hit continue and you're going to upload that certificate. So you're going to hit browse and then find that that certificate on your device and you're going to upload it. You're going to create a password and it's going to tell you exactly the res restrictions for the passcode and you're going to upload the certificate. That's going to complete the Apple push certificate for your yearly maintenance. Another area that you're going to need to update is going to be underneath apps. more and Apple VPP licenses. This is going to be what updates the actual portal within your Apple Business Manager to push out those apps and those updates to those apps every year. From here you're going to hit update. Going to fill in this information so it's just the name of the policy that you want, or the name of the token code that you want. So we just have SIG MOS 360. And we need to go get that token code. How we get that token code is we're going to go back to your Apple Business Manager. We're going to go to Settings. Apps and Books. We're going to scroll all the way down and it's going to allow us to download that token. As soon as we get that downloaded, we're going to go right back over here to Moss 360. We're going to browse for that token that we just downloaded and we're going to hit submit. That's going to allow it to upload that and refresh. And again, this needs to be done once a year and it's going to populate up on that main screen that this Apple put purchase program or the Apple app token needs to be updated. The next thing that we need to do yearly for Apple devices is we need to go to setup, settings, we're going to go down to our enrollment programs. And because we're working with Apple, we're going to go under iOS and Apple device enrollment program. We're going to hit configure. This is going to bring us to our token and profile page. 
from here, what we need to do is there's going to be two different places that we need to go. We need to go to our profiles. And if you need to update it, it's already going to be on there. So we go to profile. Edit. Make sure everything is good. So everything is okay there. Tokens. This is where we would need to actually update it. The first thing you're going to do when updating the token is going to be to pull up your Apple Business Manager account. Once you pull up your Apple Business Manager account, you're going to go to settings and then find the MDM platform that you're working with. In this situation, we're working with Moss 360. So we're going to be able to click on our Moss 360 account and we're going to be able to download a new token. We're going to download the server token. Then we're going to go back over to our Moss 360. We're going to browse for that server token and we're going to get hit update. Once we hit update, it's going to require us to type in our password again and then it'll save all the changes that we need to be, be made.